Hey guys, it's Sam with the Ready Set Go. Welcome to the video. Today I wanted to address an uh, interesting question I got from one of my readers. And the question was, how would you invest if you only had $250? Uh, recently, about a month ago, I made a video on how I would invest $1,000. And this question was a follow-up to that with um, you know, a little bit less capital. Uh, they were referring to $250 a month. So, you know, not enough capital to invest in one stock a month, but enough capital that they did want to start investing. Um, again, I highly recommend that if you don't have enough capital, you wait till you have, you know, three, four thousand dollars saved up. Uh, keep putting that money away every month and then just wait, wait, wait. And then you can finally comfortably get into the market without having to risk anything. You know, if an emergency does come up, you do not want to be strapped for cash, um, especially if it is locked away in a stock and you are down. Don't want to sell it at a loss just uh, because you need access to cash. So, you know, keep that in mind. Uh, everything moving forward from here, I am recommending based on the fact that you do have an emergency fund and this is savings that is going towards uh, investments. So definitely want to make sure that I get that point across. But moving forward, if you have only $250 to invest every month, um, I would recommend you go with Motif Investing. Uh, their minimum is actually $250 and... The beauty of it is, is uh, Motif Investing, if you're unfamiliar with it, they let you pick up to 30 stocks in what they call a Motif. And when you purchase this Motif, you purchase fractional shares of those 30 stocks. So this does two things. It, uh, it kind of lets you diversify right off the bat. You know, you're not purchasing just Apple or just Microsoft and you're not putting all your risk into one company. By purchasing this Motif, you are taking the limited capital that you have and diversifying right off the bat. So, you know, you're minimizing risk when there's inherent risk with only in investing $250 or anything below a thousand for that matter. So let's take a deeper look in this. Uh, here is motif. So let's go to explore motifs, take a look at what they have. So this is their motif catalog. You actually go through, um, they, actually create these motifs for you to take a look at. Uh, you can also create your own. Um, I actually made another video about that. I'll toss a link at the bottom of the screen if you guys do want to go, go check it out. But essentially these motifs, they're playing off macroeconomic trends, you know, American bonds, office space, um, corporate bonds, caffeine, uh, so sort of like coffee companies. And what this does is uh, if you are playing with limited capital, you can kind of play something a little bit larger than whether or not an individual company is going to have better sentiment this month or the next. You know, that's uh, that's really hard to predict. And it, it's more of a you need capital to kind of take on that risk if to swing trade or gap trade. It's kind of all out of, you know, out of the realm of what's possible with um, limited capital. So you can, you know, this allows you to play much, much larger um, kind of more economic shifts or uh, business cycles and you know, these are usually easier to tell and they're also you know they're lower risk since um you know if you do buy the dip obviously that that one makes a lot of sense <laughs> but you know if you think the restaurant industry has had a tough month a lot of you know investor sentiment hasn't been great um then you can get into the fast food category if you think retail has been hurt but you know housing market looks good now you think uh the job rate employment rate is going or employment rate is going up jobless rate is going down you think people spend more consumer uh discretionary spending then you know you can uh, kind of play those trends but the beautiful thing is uh again you get to you can actually create your own um you can go and pick those 30 stocks that you want so even if you're new to investing and you do know what you want uh you know, you can go make that yourself. You don't have to take these at face value. So again, um, going back to the homepage here, Motif Investing, I highly recommend you check it out. I'm not going to get into too much detail since I do have other videos out there covering the finer details of Motif, but I highly recommend you check it out. Um, you know, just go to the homepage, open your free account. Uh, it is free to try out. And the other beautiful thing about Motif is that you can actually, you can actually um, have access to a lot of the research tools that are available. So if you do end up creating an account, go take a look at it. You know, they offer 
unbelievable amounts of resources. In each of these motifs, you can actually dig down into the individual stocks and they'll show you all the metrics right there at face value. And uh, one of the nicer UIs and uh, interfaces that I've used. So again, go check it out. Um, you know, I do want to make the disclaimer that if you only have 250 bucks, don't risk too much in the market. Yeah, just put some money aside and you know keep saving. But if you are going to try it out, I highly recommend you go check out Motif Investing. Great. Well, that's it for today, guys. Thank you guys for watching the video. Um, again, if you enjoyed it, please subscribe or click like at the bottom of the page. And uh, again, check out my channel. You know, I make a lot of these videos, kind of reviewing different brokerage firms, uh, trading strategies, how to start getting invest, uh, how to start, how to start getting into investing and analyzing these stocks. Uh, got a plenty of stock analysis uh, videos up there. So I highly recommend you go check it out. And if you have any feedback for me, um, please feel free to leave a comment here or uh, check out my blog at www.readysetgo.com. Great. Thank you guys for watching. I will catch you guys later. Peace.